Hello, today I'll be coding this loading animation. The way I do this is first split it into frames. Count the number of bars in the first frame. So there are 18 bars. So now let's do the HTML structure. So we're going to have a loader element. Then we're going to have 18 bars. Bar. Okay, this is it for the structure. Now we're going to have the style and here we're going to have bar and we need to set a width and a height so first of all we need to measure them so we're going to do this here we're going to get the dimensions of a bar so uh, that's going to be so 12 pixels that's uh, 0.75 ms and uh, 80 pixels that's 5.5 ms Okay, so we're going to have width and height and we're going to give it a dummy background. Okay, but now we want different backgrounds. So what we're going to do is use the color picker, uh, change to an RGB format and get the color for the pink one 230 49 and 99 uh 28 49 and 99 so the same green and blue only the red changes so what we're going to do is have an rgb volume the red is going to be a calc volume and then we're going to have 49 and 99 for the green and blue and here we're going to have an initial red volume 230 and a final red volume 28 so here we're going to have the initial red volume plus um, a custom property that's going to be the index of the current bar and this one this i we initially set it to zero and it's going to be this index times and I need to interpolate this it's going to be r1 minus r0 over n and here I need to make uh, I need to round this because um, only edge supports this unless I round it okay so now I have everything and it's pink so in order to uh, go to blue we need to loop and change the index for every bar. So for i from 1 to n, we're going to have nth child i plus 1. And here I need to uh, set the index. Okay, and as you can see now it changes, it goes from pink to blue. But I wanted to uh, go and then go back. So what I want to do here is replace this with um, half of n minus this i. And here I'm going to uh, multiply this with 2. And I'm also going to multiply this with um, a switch j which is 1 initially and then I'm going to change this switch so nth child for the second half of the bars so second half is n plus um, half of n plus 1 and here it's going to be minus 1 this j so now I'm going from blue to pink and then I should be going back again. Okay, what did I do? I did something. Okay, seriously, what did I do? I mean, the result is correct. I'm still getting an error. No, 
this is awkward. Okay, I don't see it. Um, if I just delete it and put it back in. Okay, it works and I'm not getting an error. That was awkward, really. So now I'm going to set position absolute. I'm going to set top 50%, left 50%. I'm going to set a margin that's minus half the height and then minus half the width horizontally. Okay, so they're all in the middle and now I'm going to set a transform. And first I'm going to have a base transform chain. This is going to be this custom property, BC. And here I'm going to have a rotation, first of all. And in order to get this rotation, I'm going to have to compute a base angle. So this is going to be 360 degrees over N. And um, here I'm going to have calc value. That's going to be the index times that base angle, which I need to interpolate because it's SAS value. Okay, and now I have this rotation. Then I'm going to have a translation, uh, translate y, and in order to get that value, I need to uh, so get out of here and get this diameter here. Okay, so uh, here I'm going to have 4 times the height over 3. Okay, and I have this. Um, something else I'm going to do here is have a border radius, 4 pixels, um, with that, okay. And next thing, I'm going to set a box shadow, 0 for offsets and blur, and the width over 3 for the spread, and this is going to be uh, white. Okay. And the next thing that I'm going to do is set rotate zero degrees here. And I'm going to um, take this chain and put it in an animation. So here I'm going to have keyframes animation and it's going to go to that's transform chain, except I'm not going to have zero degrees, I'm going to have one turn. And here I'm going to have the animation. Okay, why don't I have autocomplete? Um, and I'm going to need a duration. So I get the duration um, from the number of frames, 180 times the delay in between two frames, 0 0.02 seconds, and I rotate 2 at the same time, so I'm going to multiply that by 2. So my animation duration is going to be um, 7.2 seconds. Okay. So I'm going to use this animation duration here. And now, one thing I want to show you, and it's going to be more obvious if I make it linear, or maybe even ease in out. Okay, so as you can see, this bar here overlaps both the previous and the next one, and I don't want that. So what I'm going to do is use 3D transforms. So. I'm going to have a second transform here, and it's going to be a rotation around the x-axis. So it's going to be a rotate x 45 degrees. And I'm going to chain this, and I'm also going to uh, chain this here. And now, okay, um, I need to 
do a few more things for 3D. So first of all, on my loader, actually, first of all, make all divs absolutely positioned. So I'm going to take this from here and put it to be valid for all divs. I'm going to take the offsets and put them on the loader. And I'm also going to set transform style preserve 3D on the loader. And now the last one. Okay, it doesn't overlap both the previous and the next. This works great. Okay. Now. The problem here is that my bars are now shorter and I don't want that. So I'm going to take this angle from here and I'm going to use an angle X value and I'm going to put it there, angle X. And it's going to be 45 degrees. And here I'm going to compute an FX factor. And that's going to be cosine of that angle X. And I'm going to divide this by that fx. And now my bars are longer, but the distance I've translated them by is also longer. So I need to multiply with that fx here. Okay. Um, and also the border radius is a bit messed up now. So I need to change this. So I'm going to change. So uh, border radius is going to be 4 pixels. So I'm going to use that volume and it's going to have a different volume along the X axis over the FX. And this fixes the border radius. Okay, but I don't want them all rotating at the same time. I want just two rotating at the same time. So I'm going to set another value here, K, and this is going to be the number of components rotating at the same time and here I'm going to have a keyframe that's going to be k times 100% um, over n and here I'm going to have an animation delay that's a calc volume and it's i over n um, minus one times k times the animation duration. And, okay, this should be before. So the duration should be before uh, the delay. Okay, and this now works. We have that initial animation and everything seems just fine. So um, yeah, this is it for today. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, just drop them in the comments or send them on Twitter. And until next time.